કઈ વાંધો નહીં આ સણની ભાજી છે આનું શાક બનાવીને બી ખાવાય છે ને આવી રીતે આના પર ચણા લાગે છે યસ સો યુ કેન ડેફિનેટલી નો ધેટ ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી કોમનલી યુઝ ઓર કોલ ગ્રામ ફ્લાવર વી યુઝ ઇન आवर લોટ ઓફ ઇન્ડિયન પ્રેપરેશન બટ ધ હોલ પ્લાન્ટ ઇઝ વેરી ન્યુટ્રિશનલ સો that is basically grown uh during the spring season so that's a spring season growth uh so we are entering into the uh, okay jo ha dada pehla lokon bulai lo okay so they are uh are you taking in the back part of it uh samu bhai uh okay so we are actually in the backyard or where they have a piece of land so they are growing this uh, what we call seasonal uh, crop this is seasonal arko ave e baju rakhvanu bol mana barabar che barabar che okay so they are uh, actually okay so these are basically call uh, they grow on the tree pache le to mhm ha batao okay okay so these are the one which you are familiar here uh if you take open up this one um, they will definitely have uh this is something we use for cook for vegetables a tadko pad ne baju rakhvano yeah varu ni papdi che amne na na barabar che samu bhai shankar bhai Sankar bhai, barabar che. I think so. See, ah. they are showing us Allow all this. Okay, so uh, we encourage these people to ah, get the, the seeds for it, so they can grow these vegetables uh, ah, uh, wherever there is a space available. Okay, uh, okay. Ale valoni papri. Okay, I got it. Valor papri. Ah, dik. વાલોર પાપડી યસ હા દેખાય છે યુ કેન સી ઇટ દે આર બેઝિકલી આર વાઇન્સ દે ગ્રો ઓન એ એઝ વાઇન્સ સો દે આર ઇઝી ટુ સ્ટાર્ટ ગ્રોઈંગ એન્ડ દે વુલ ડુ ધેટ કે હા સો આનું ઉંધિયામાં વપરાય શંકરભાઈ હા ઉંધિયામાં વપરાય સાહેબ Okay, I got it. So there is a special uh, preparation in uh, South Gujarat during this season. Okay. Uh, okay. So now you are taking... Methini uh, bhaji. Okay. So methini bhaji is more like your coriander. Okay. So you know how often they are used. They are most commonly used in everywhere in India. and the leaves are very much used for that hello ha uh-huh. okay good good ele padra no upyog tha emno methini bhaji ma spend out karekno sir okay okay so okay got got it you are right yes okay so uh, so they are basically use uh, to uh, make a lot of things out of it uh, uh in i think so cold season we we make it certain thing in a fried food is that right we mix them with uh, something and make in gujarati we call it bajia true gota gota bajia uh, methina methina debra parotha okay. vegetables mix vegetable with many varieties okay so what is the benefit of methi in overall for our health uh, they are they are nutritional in terms of uh, uh, give the flavor to the food so these are very immunity, much it is immunity, immunity booster and uh, it is specifically very beneficial beneficial in the arthritis joint uh, okay so so because of they are green leafy vegetables talko pade ne baju thi jakho na na as a good good okay they are showing and ha uh, aha uh, uh-huh. okay tum ai behi jao ara this this one comes up within a few weeks is that right 
they grow very fast four to six weeks it requires yeah. and then they keep on growing again again more you cut more it grows no no no, no. next crop yes. okay yes. so it's not like some other one because i thought that they keep on growing because, uh, so you basically sprinkle the seeds and they grow very fast yes it, it yes. will grow yes. uh, within 4 to 6 weeks okay and so it is uh, eatable uh, within this time 4 to 6 weeks it is eatable but the seeds are very bitter is that right for arthritis yeah yeah very bitter and seeds are specifically beneficial to control the blood sugar it is uh, used for diabetes to control the diabetes okay In so they have ayurvedic medicinal preparations it is used to control okay, diabetes so, so it has a good medicinal value radio okay the suva palak so this is more like a spinach we call it spinach it, it is, here uh, it is spinach only okay, and uh, spinach. Uh, iron, iron content of this uh, leaves is uh, very much uh, higher higher side so, okay, so in, in in anemia it is uh, widely used no okay, but both, so, this, both these things okay so that also has a medicinal value yeah okay that is very very good so that's a medicinal value okay uh, so we encourage people to make it grow there in their backyard quite often in their own land surrounding their houses they can uh, grow such uh, leafy vegetables which are beneficial for their nutritional and mineral addition additional values so they basically save the seeds for the next term next uh, season yeah 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 Uh, yeah. do they grow all year round uh, like this uh, spinach no uh, specifically in the win winter time it, it is uh, the, the crop is uh, uh, we can grow it okay not in other time in the monsoon what about, monsoon and winter season what about water supply if they have enough water supply they can not grow other time No, yes, they yeah, 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 can be grown. Yes. Okay. If they have But enough water supply, mm -hmm. uh, around the year they can grow it. Okay, so here they are basically bangles. No. Okay. okay. Okay, you can see them. Okay, that is good. Okay. This is known as eggplant. This is known as eggplant. Eggplant. So they are eggplant. So, yeah. We have so much noise coming up. Yeah. So they are called eggplant. एक एक को आराम से दिखाओ उसके पास में उसके पौधे को दिखाओ खेत को दिखाओ. Okay. So this eggplant. long and uh, slender ye bengal mein kya dikha rahe hain yeah yeah it's a bengal or egg plant to so bengal mein bhi dikhao likhai dikha yeah. aapne ab isme bengal okay. uh, this is indigenous variety this is indigenous variety of bengal okay so and this is something local of, uh, yes it is full of minerals and uh, very high iron content okay so the minerals are plenty in this one okay so they really grow in a uh, within a month six weeks they can grow ye chal raha hai mobile ko mobile do chal rahe hain pe it it requires six to eight eight weeks chal raha hai it takes to eight weeks okay so almost about two months then it acha dikhai padta hai i think so we are able to see it very well okay now can we uh, people who are not well off nahi, land, do they grow in a small patch of land nahi, okay so they are going to show some uh, uh, pepper okay is it koi badaba nahi bole tankar bhai awaaz hi karta hai to bol raha hai ke unko okay all right आहा। तुम बोलो मत 
they have want to so close up of paper but uh, it's hard to see uh, too close but we all familiar with here i think so we are all familiar how they make the paper okay here is a you can see paper you can see yes okay Hello. i see ha ah, dekha hui dekha hui shankar bhai ha ah, marchu se marcha ha ah, marcha marcha khara leela marcha ha ah, ha ah, leela marcha par nana chhod ke sai baju ana barabar che elas ane sukai ne pachi ene powder banave ha ha powder banave apa bhajiya ma leela marcha par nake saag baji ma nake leela marcha yeah yes so uh, people definitely in india like to have spicy everything has to be with pepper they love the spice or pepper okay specifically 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 green peppers contains high uh, quantity of vitamin c oh but i didn't know i how much vitamin how many pepper you to eat so this And, is uh, turmeric this is turmeric is that right yeah yeah this is a turmeric plant where turmeric grows under the ground but you can smell the turmeric in the leaves too uh, that is a very very interesting that if you come close and smell the leaves you can uh, smell the turmeric in the leaves too uh, uh i don't know how much do we grow quite a bit turmeric in gujarat yeah in the dry area of gujarat uh, we have very high quantity production of turmeric and uh, this adu adu what i can okay uh, okay uh, all right so because uh, this is one of the most commonly used for medicinal use but uh, yes, yes. in india they Curcum- uh, a specific uh, ingredient curcumin yeah. which is known as curcumin the content of curcumin is a very uh, highly immunity booster yeah and uh, uh, they basically need to grow for so quite a few months for 10 months or so uh, they has to be left in the ground for a while uh, uh, 3 months 3 to 4 months but i think so in jharkhand they basically take much longer where i remember uh, yeah. but they it, have to it, be it made in aha uh-huh. to gain more volume mhm it, it can oh. be uh, kept for a longer time under the ground underground okay so so they have Usually, to be harvested and to be dried before they make powder out of it yeah 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 okay but uh, some people eat the fresh one too we can make a pickle out of it yeah we can make it and uh, it is very tasty tasty okay and, pickle uh, are uh, yeah edible yeah during the season you can get the fresh one yeah in term, uh, this is the season winter season is uh, 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 good for it okay now tomatoes are all different kind some of them are what we call as small tomatoes or baby tomatoes and some are large alive uh, okay so they are basically kind of plants which are kind of growing as a vine here or what uh-huh. use as a mix uh, to mix in all vegetables it can be mixed okay so basically they are the one uh, uh, are somewhat more acidic is that right tomatoes it's not uh-huh. so but vitamin c and vitamin a source of vitamin, vitamin c vitamin source of vitamin c and vitamin e yeah. okay vitamin yes. vitamin c is very much abundant I mean and in a, that one a and b also uh, and uh, tomato is having anti prostatic cancer property also wow well that's good to know that's a good to know so they have made kind of made it to grow in a large area so they have yellow and red and green all different uh when they wow. ripe they they, uh, they catch a red color yeah that's true very very from true. green to green to yellow and then after uh, when they are ripen uh, it is of uh, red color uh, do they ripen right on the vine so they uh, take it out and let it ripe outside no no 
on on the shrubs only uh, it uh, gets a red color okay rataru is the one right. which is kind of uh, under the ground is that right yeah aha uh -huh. under the ground plant uh but that is more seasonal plant rataru mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i remember that uh that's good okay i see that uh so a lot of people may not know this thing but this is a something people yeah it's a huge it's a like a very big uh, uh size uh under the ground mm -hmm. okay it's roots we are using for yeah. making this bajias and sabjis yeah but they are really kind of but they are more of a purple color more purple color is that right uh, inner color is okay. purple and okay. uh, the camera olavana ko emo emo it is this is a coriander dana is a coriander yes coriander okay dana is very commonly used in this country uh, we get like a small batch maybe weighing about 50 g they give in a bundle bundle small bundle of 50 g uh so we it's got tonic for tonic for kidney for renal filtration for purposes uh, it, it is very beneficial okay it reduces the kidney diseases aha uh -huh. so so ben batave che ben su ke che ya ben bolta nahi hai bolo ben tame bolo wo mute kaya hua na wo dane ke bare mein bata rahi hai ben dana sena mate vapray ऊंधिया Okay. okay. So in America, they always have this chutney for with samosa. Ah, yeah. Gujarati samosa, Punjabi samosa, and this is onion. Onion uh, plants are there. Is that right? Dungri. Ah, dungri na chhod ke. Yeah. 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 खबर पड़े डूंगी पाकी गई डूंगी अंदर नीचे हाँ हाँ देखाय अमुक जात जात डूंगी हो सफेद ने पे लाल एक बराबर गुड 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 ओके टमेटो जो बराबर ऑर्डर ताजू हो तो अमुक जात सुगंध हो बराबर हाँ रात न खवा नहीं मोड़ा मोड़कार गंधा सवार बपोरे खावा सूर्यास्त पूड़ो डूंगी गाजर कंदमूल कोई पन ना खवाए यू आयुर्वेद कैसे 
शंकर भाई शंकर भाई ने जो सरस जय श्री राम बदाने जय श्री राम बदाने आनंद मड़ी ने ओहो सरस बहु आनंद पूरी टीम तैयार खबर बार के ठंडी मकान अपने तमने जवा दू बात कर ओके okay, दस मिनट पी फरी गैलरी व्यू फॉर एवरीबडी लेट ऑल द स्टूडेंट कम टू लेट देम एटलीस्ट इफ दे आर म्यूटेड दे केन अनम्यूटेड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ओके लाव लेट्स let's have the talk about what is the nutrition part in our health care or health field or arogya uh, so everybody wants to add something why it is so important to grow in your backyard or grow where especially in the villages uh, what's the advantage uh, let's we can start with tanya or tanya you want to say what you think what's the advantage health advantage of those things i think one of the main advantages of growing it in their backyards is that it's easily available to them okay that is one part easily available second thing it will be what what you think devaki if you have in your own backyard uh will you consume more or you will consume go ahead yeah i feel like you would eat more of it because the barrier the barrier to that food is Less. Okay, that is very very good. Okay, Divya, you want to say anything? Yeah, I think having them in your backyard makes it, as Tanya said, easy to access. But also, you'll want to eat them, knowing that you put so much work into growing them, that it'll kind of feel like a reward for good. taking care of. Them. Good, good. What do you think, Mina? You want to say anything? Um, yeah, basically the same, and um. also like uh when you grow you take more interest in like why you're growing different things so um let's say that like for example vitamin c especially during corona you know that you need more of it so maybe you grow more of tomato so it, you can you can it, it can be like need based also oh good 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 what about nikita what do you want to add to it i think it's like pretty cool cuz you know when the vegetables will be ripe and then you can eat them like as soon as they're fresh and that's probably more nutritious than like waiting for oh any. good yeah so one of the good thing is uh, definitely better nutritional value if they are fresh uh definitely if you are reading your backyard most likely you will consume it than people who cannot afford to go buy if you have to buy you have to have money on hand so that's one <clears throat> problem are solved uh other thing about this vegetables is as we know that they have a unique nutritional value all this different color of it and different season uh not uh, calorie part is not but other nutritional values but some of them have calories too okay so it's not that is totally without calories uh anybody else to add what if aditya you want to add anything uh sure like what everyone was saying it's easy to access but i also think like if it's your own backyard you know how it was grown like so it's like 
grown fresh like you know what kind of fertilizer things you put in so it's like made in a healthy way instead of like something else that enhanced the growth or whatever so you can grow it in the most healthiest way so there's nothing like in the things you grow like the fruits and vegetables so it's like more healthy i guess okay how we can promote this in the villages how we can promote it what do you think priyanka priyanka you want to see your input how we can promote that more and more people grow it yeah i think definitely ekal probably can play a role by like having ekal staff teach individuals in these villages how to kind of effectively plant a garden how to plant seeds at the right time so they can they can grow best but even so giving people even a few seeds just to start out their gardens is probably a really low cost <clears throat> way of encouraging them to start these gardens and then really showing them that they're able to do it yeah that is one good thing uh, what do you think abhi abhi wants to have anything i think what would be good is with the organization they can maybe start a small farm and then expand it to be bigger and bigger um mm-hmm. help them make the first initial farm and if they see a lot of their neighbors do it then they'll maybe want to take care of it more or they'll feel like the need to expand on it more i think that's a good point that when you make few people to start with neighbor see the benefit of it so they also want to learn and try to plant and grow uh, another thing abhi brought very important point is that they can expand it so not only for their nutritional but they have another source of income they can definitely make some more money uh, how about manav you want to have anything uh yeah i thought the point about um the eggplant being like a local variant was really interesting because it's again like promoting not only like local vegetables but just like local strains of vegetable as well and i think that's very important and like how effective you can grow crop is like by not bringing in like say seeds from america like a regular eggplant seed from america that wouldn't really help them um because it wouldn't grow as well so by like promoting plants and vegetables that are native to the area for like centuries it it'll help them okay i think one of the thing what we do is uh what, what's the fertilizer they will use here do they use a something which we call miracle grow or what do you think they will do it uh, okay cow dung see that's very important so they basically use their own compost and cow dung and they mix it uh we also promote something what we call vermi compost uh where they make all these thing like they have talked about earlier that they will uh collect the uh, neighborhood all those compost and they also put the uh, earthworms and they are very good uh, in terms of breaking it down very fast and within uh, at least 8 to 12 weeks and the a fertilizer is made and that can be dried and can be sold in a uh, 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 so that can be used other one in mean this can be uh, thrown if it is dry you can spread it more loosely and that also gives a unique flavor to them so not only they are a fertilizer but some of the uh, pesticide effect is already built in uh and they uh you might want want to know about it but they have a whole different way to make natural pesticide from certain leaves and cow urine you might have called uh, i i think there is a special name there dr mehta is that right uh, uh it's basically kind of a kitik nashak uh they are making certain kind of so they are they will not kill every one but those who are harmful uh pesticides uh, it will act like a pesticide selective action selective action that is very very true so uh vanya anybody want to add to or how about ishita uh, uh, asmuk bhai okay. uh, jayshree ben is ready with her lecture also uh, her okay. presentation okay. she is ready with this thing okay we have question from somebody who is asking go ahead yeah um basically like as far there, as but I she is ready for your next session 
Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give up. Okay, so let's take the next session now. Uh, you can take over the, share the screen, uh, Dr. Jayshree uh, Bute. Uh, uh, Jayshree Ben, now, now you can start your uh, this session. And you can unmute it. Uh, Dr. Jayshree Ben. Okay, she will have to unmute. Dr. Jayshree Ben Bute is head of the Department of Preventive and Social Medicine of Zydus Medical College at Dahod, Gujarat. Okay, so... Uh, she, is like... MD, she is MD Preventive and Social Medicine. After that, she worked in a medical colleges and then uh, she shifted to Gujarat, from Maharashtra to Gujarat as a head of the department uh, preventive and uh, social medicine community. This is community medicine and she is working there. Okay, so we will... You want us to share the screen or you just want to talk yeah, to us? Yeah, just a minute. Let me, let me uh, ask her to unmute first. Uh, oh, she, yes, did, uh, she, uh, uh, she did unmute. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Jai Shib. Uh, yeah, Jai Shib is there, yes. Yes, sir. I want to share the screen. Yeah, so you can... Uh, uh, Tanya, you want to give her... Share the screen? Go ahead. Uh, I'm sure that she must have given you to share the screen. It should work now. It should work now. Go ahead. If you want to share the screen, you can do that. Okay. Can you see all? Oh, yes. We all can see. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, if you yes, want sir. to put a full screen, you can make a full screen. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, First of all, I'd like to wish all of you Merry Christmas because it's 25th December over here. Oh, yes, very you too. Happy New Year to all my students and all my colleagues. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jessie. May the, this Christmas brings you prosperity and happiness, all of you. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, now uh, this is very common topic which we uh, teach our students, and uh, this is very common problem, health problem in India, even. So this is the nutrition which I'm sharing to you today. Can you hear me properly? Yeah, you are audible correctly. Okay, yeah. So the nutritional anemia, it is caused due to the malnutrition. It is a condition in which hemoglobin content of the blood goes lower than the normal. We'll see what is normal in the next slides. As a result of deficiency of one or more essential nutrients, especially the iron. Uh, you might know about these various minerals, right? Which are required for uh, smooth functioning of the body. So one of them is iron, which is required for the hemoglobin is uh, there, which is uh, in combination with iron. And it carries the oxygen to the various uh, body organs. So whenever there is lacuna in this oxygen carrying capacity, uh, there are problems. We'll see what are the signs and symptoms in few slides. So this is the causes of nutrition anemia. Uh, basic reasons is the iron and followed by the folate deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, protein deficiency. It can be corrected by various supplementation, even the dietary supplementation. And you can uh, see the various names because of the deficiency, iron deficiency anemia, pernicious anemia. That uh, is kind of vitamin B12 deficiency only, uh, megaloblastic anemia like that. Now, WHO, as you know, the World Health Organization is there uh, making various data and the cutoff levels uh, it fixes. So these are various uh, cutoff levels for the hemoglobin. Uh, hemoglobin, you know, no? All of you? Yes, students. we all know that, sure. Yeah, yeah. So these are the cutoff levels like uh, adult man is having 30 gram per year, deciliter, adult mm. woman non pregnant, 12. The adult woman pregnant is 11 gram, is the cutoff level, child above 6 years, 12, and the child below 6 years, 11. So these are the cutoff levels. Mm -hmm. And below that, we say it is anemia. Okay, what is the problem about anemia? Why we are talking so much on this topic? Why this has been chosen? 
एज दिस विच वेरी मच प्रिवलेंट वर्ल्ड वाइड इंडिया में तो है ही प्रॉब्लम एंड अबाउट द वर्ल्ड इवन इट इज मच मोर लाइक ऑलमोस्ट टू बिलियन पीपल आर बिन अफेक्टेड ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन ऐसे आई वॉज लुकिंग एट द किचन गार्डन एंड राइट नाउ आई हैव गॉन थ्रू द वेरियस टूर ऑफ योर्स योर्स शोन वेरियस वेजिटेबल्स एंड इट इज क्वाइट रिलेटेड विद दिस टॉपिक so how we can prevent with this kitchen garden and how we can apply in our uh, life uh, how we can utilize it so that was the major uh, thing uh, we'll discuss later mm-hmm. so iron deficiency anemia is most frequent nutrition deficiency all around the world its prevalence is higher in children and child bearing age women uh, why it may be so because uh, increased demand of the body right as in pregnancy there are two lives so that's why there is increased demand so uh, why we are very much concerned about this iron deficiency mainly because it affects uh, the cognitive functions the work performance as there is decrease oxygen carrying capacity even the child behaviors even the development till that level it may go now the main factors which are contributing to anemia are uh, iron deficiency basically how it happens so there is poor bio availability of consumed iron whatever you are eating like through the green vegetables or various resources uh, either the meat or pork whatever veg or the non veg but if it is not been uh, properly absorbed so there will not be use so there is poor bioavailability either it may go in combination with different uh, uh, items food items like milk and the iron so there is different combinations so you should not have uh, uh, like uh, iron food with that of the milk so the combinations are also important like we say vitamin c enhances the iron absorption jab aap vegetables kha rahe ho right so you should com- you can combine the lemon even with that so it will increase the bioavailability and even the absorption mm-hmm. then second point is insufficient dietary iron intake and hum le hi nahi rahe we are not taking only so because we don't like vegetables or what else many reasons can be there then loss in menstruation and girls are having problem and the delivery uh, have the loss uh, to the blood monthly hemorrhoids or internal bleeding many any causes are there like in typhoid even or in the fissures even uh many reasons are there where the blood loss is there now another reason is chronic and recurrent infections that may interfere with the food intake or in the absorption which i mentioned initially like the helminth infections primarily hookworm you know something in india Uh, there is a problem of open defecation yet people are not been fully accepted the uh, sanitary latrines you may be wondering but this is the fact and uh, india is trying or uh, modi ji is trying very hard for that uh, to establish the sanitary latrines in the villages so now the situation is quite different but where the literacy levels are low no? so there is problem is going on still so they don't wear chappals through bare foot they walk and through that the hoop won't get entered into the body so hoop won't enter directly into the duodenum the small intestine where it keeps on absorbing uh, absorbing the blood so that is the problem the chronic diarrheal diseases hiv malaria may interfere because there is different uh, changes in the mucosa of the intestine so that's why there is a uh, problem in absorption of iron so this is the normal picture you may learn this uh, afterwards when you enter in medicals uh, this is after the blood collection we do prepare the peripheral smear and that this is the picture of anemia you can see over here no microcyclic yes. and hypochromic we say yeah and so they look normal. yeah they look pale that's pale. exactly right yes so this is because of low hemoglobin or low iron Now the problem statement worldwide we uh, uh, previously only I told you there is much high high prevalence of this uh, anemia. Almost two third of the pregnant women are anemic. 
and almost half of non-pregnant women even. Uh, because of, you can say, there is gap in the nutrition education, right? We know there, there are many things. This is iron rich, this is this. But how to inculcate in our practice, that we don't know. So that gap we have to fill up. Now, just to uh, show you the problem of anemia worldwide, you can see in pregnancy it is high, highest among the Southeast Asia, among that. You know, they are in Africa 50%, gas pass America, Europeans having 20-25%. The Southeast Asian women are having the most problem. Now, India, almost see the figures 72.7 percent of children up to the age of three years in urban and 81 in the rural are anemic this is not my data this is nfhs data and the national family health verified your surveys throughout the year and every five years so this is their data this is very much a significant data we need to do something and government is already doing uh, for that so this is the requirement of iron in our body actually. And you can see as per your age, adolescency, 10 to 12 milligram per day we are needing and the adult almost 10. And so it is the same almost for the female it is a little bit higher because of the loss during the menstruations. Now what are the sources? You may be uh, very much interested to know about the iron uh, uh, through which uh, sources I can get. So the heme iron, there are two uh, kinds of iron, heme iron and non-heme iron. So heme iron is present in animal food like the meat, liver, spleen, and the non-heme is obtained from the various cereals, vegetables, beans. So there are problems with non-heme iron also, like uh, the, for the absorption, there are the oxalates in various uh, uh, food items, phytates even like in the pulses. So we are not able to uh, have it directly. We'll have to make them sprouted or boil them properly. Then only we can consume it. Milk is very poor source of the iron. That's why breastfed babies has to uh, take care of uh, very much. Now here you can see the beautiful food items, uh, very much color picture. Iron rich foods, you can see the pork, chicken, liver, all this. The non vegetarians can have a lot of range, and even the vegetarians have a lot of range. The resin, spinach, right now, only we have gone through the uh, kitchen garden. Uh, so, especially, you know, Surajna ke Falli, which you this, Suraganam, drums. Yes. That's right. And yes, sir, Gujarati. Gujarati, oh, yes. I don't know the word. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it is Saragwa. there. And, and, Saragwa in Gujarati. Uh, you know? Saragwa. Yes, Saragwa. yes, Saragwa. Yeah. Saragwa. Yeah. Saragwa so, yeah, yeah. Iske to patte bhi khate, sir. So, seeds okay. and leaves and uh, drumstick ke jo falli aati hai, the long okay. bean. Okay. Yeah. They call it drumstick here. Yes, sir. Drumstick. Yeah. In, in they call it drumstick here. Okay. Drumstick and is uh, available over there. Yes, it's available now. Lot of things come as a frozen food. Okay. Uh, okay. Lot of frozen nice. foods are available here. Nice. We put it in sambar, you know, something special. Oh, yeah. We put it in sambar. That's right. It is makes mm. it sambar tasty. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very so very. This is. Yeah. And, and then right you got. Now, uh, is, uh, that's a beet. Next one is a beet. 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 Have a next one item yes, color. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a beet. Yes, sir. Beet. Okay, yes, and then we have all yes. the grains in the bottom part. These are grains. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This okay. is uh, all the... Oh, yeah. Til. Uh, okay. so, so that is very common. Right now, they make items at this time in yes, January. Sir. Okay. Yeah, so. and especially the black ones. Over here, the white is there, but the black one is very rich in iron. Okay. Okay. And these are the various cereals, beans, which are their resources of the iron. Uh -huh. And vitamin C, as you know, all hai, a strawberry, hai, uh, guava, okay, strawberry. And, uh, lemon, kiwi. and kiwi. Kiwi is also their oranges. And they're very okay. uh, rich. I have not shown over there is the amla. And yes. Indian yes. gooseberry. 
Yeah. So they are, sauce. they are a little bit uh, sweet sour, it's more sour, sweet sour. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, make candies of those aulas in uh, this winter season only they are available. And you can have achar in whatever the form you like. It has a lot of fiber. So you can have with uh, the iron dish food or mm -hmm. after the food you can have. So it is very much beneficial in absorption of iron even. And it has been said it uh, 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 have longevity in your uh, age even. Oh, so wow. So you have amla even in uh, daily diet. Okay. So yes, sir. Gives... Good, good. And when it increases the immunity, it boosts your immunity even. Yeah. Now they realize So these immunity. are the clinical features of the anemia. Yeah. Yeah, the, because of COVID even, <laughs> it is much beneficial. So this is uh, clinical features of the anemia. You can see the pallor of the tongue. There are biggest classes. In the last stage, it was uh, very much a red tongue we have. In initial stages, the pallor is there. Pallor means you can see the decreased quantity. The normal jo hand hamara dikhta hai like this, we can compare. Yeah. Yeah, so yes. the pallor is the whitishness of the bed of the palm. Yeah. Yes. So you so can you... compare those who are having normal hemoglobin and uh, if you are anemic, you can compare. Even the nail bed are having a picture. So this and is very are... much chronic stage actually. Yeah, they, so are if we are... Are... they are pitted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, chelosis at the angle of the mouth is one of the feature and coilonychia. This is scientific name. It is a spooning yes. of the fingernail. Yes. So this happens when their uh, level goes very much down and it is chronic state. And uh, we are not looking, uh, taking care of the iron level. Then these are the features. These are basically very severe anemia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are the various features we have, fatigue, easy fatigue, headache is there, yellow skin, irregular heart rate, chest pain we can have, even the cold hands, uh, we can cough up the temperature, we want dizziness, leg cramps, insomnia. If you have all the signs and symptoms, you should uh, look at into the matter and you should mm -hmm. take them care of. Wow, that's so good, so good. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what can happen with the iron deficiency? There is increased maternal fetal mortality. See in India, it is very much. Uh, why? Because it is affecting the circulation. The maternal circulation affects the fetus growth. Then the increased risk of premature delivery and the LBW, that is low birth weight babies. The normal weight of baby over here is 2.5 kg. And uh, where is uh, premature, like normal, you say the 40 weeks. So it is below the 40 weeks delivery happens. Then learning disabilities are there in a kid. Delayed psychomotor development can be there. Reduced work capacity, impaired immunity, right? Uh, because of the high risk of the infection is there. Then inability to maintain body temperature and associated risk of lead poisoning because of the pica. It develops because of deficiency of the iron. Mm -hmm. So now how should we are going to treat this anemia? Uh, sign to which we should take care of. So it is like 11 to 14 is said normal, nothing has been required. 9 to 11 is said to be mild anemia. Over here you need to have oral iron therapy. Uh, it is alarming. Then 7 to 9 is said to be moderate anemia. Over here parental iron injection is required almost eight to 10 injections, depending on your uh, capacity, it is required. And less than seven head, you require, this is called severe anemia, you require blood transfusion. Okay. okay yeah, you got it. Okay, that's a good point. I think so, that's a very okay. good uh, explanation you have given us how to treat the anemia. Okay. Good, good. So yes, are you kind of done with your session? Or you have but some so more slides? One or two. Okay, one good. Or two slides, yes. Go ahead, keep on doing. Yes. You still have five minutes. Yes, sir. So, laboratory findings may what will, the, will be the picture? There would be lower hemoglobin, lower hematocrit, low mean corpuscular volume. We will learn this. Uh, these are medical terminologies, but at least you should see this in your medical report, right? So, these are mm. the cutoff levels. 
आई डोंट नो अबाउट द अमेरिकन कट ऑफ लेवल बट डब्ल्यू एच ओ के जो लेवल्स है द नॉर्मल यूजुअल लेवल्स आई हैव गिवन every laboratory has some variations too yeah yeah okay so this is the treatment see the underlying cause also we should okay taken care of like who whom infestation is there so you know india is having a quite good program for this uh, the deworming program there are the two annual deworming days have been mentioned the 10th of yeah. february and the august so it has been given like twice a week to all the kids and even adults should take twice and a year online therapy which i mentioned already yes a by annually okay uh, the albendazole tablet is been given to the all the kids sir or twice a year oh, in year. the school oh okay wow yes sir in the school in the anganwadis all the way so it's kind of precaution and prevention part okay good yes yes sir then oral iron therapy is also been uh, iron folic acid tablets have been distributed throughout the bsc centers of okay. years to the okay, all so the yeah. kids and even to the pregnant ladies mm -hmm. yes wow that's good that can grow very fast yes, hemoglobin can come up very quickly good yes sir sir it is like for 100 days for pregnant ladies uh, the 100 uh, elemental milligram elemental iron has been given along with wow. the folic acid mm -hmm. yes, folic acid is required for uh, proper growth of the neural tube of the baby that's why it has been given so it's prenatal it is it's prenatal that's right yes yes sir so vitamin c then is also been given empty stomach usually uh you should have a lemon in your diet so it will prevent all the problems then parental line therapy uh this depends on the doses then blood transfusion and if your hemoglobin goes below 4 g the ccf uh, uh, cardiac failure can happen if we don't care of it about the new recommendation which i already told you uh, icds scheme hamare yahan chalti hai the integrated child development scheme under that 0 to 6 year kids are there which are been treated for vitamin a deficiency iron deficiency lot men along oh, with that nutritional supplement is been also been given and sir it is totally free of cost okay so up to the age 6 or what age they are free sir in icds it is till 6 year uh, everything is been given nutrition supplements all free mm -hmm. and then after 6 uh, to 10 years even the tablets and uh, other things are been free uh, okay. really available okay good good except good. the nutrition part it is been available under mid day meal program also at a free of cost good okay so mid day meal they also get that supplement in it yes okay yeah, i got one time it. meal is been provided to the schools So in last twenty years, midday meal has been for life. Two decade now already. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so we see the effect and helpful. Oh, good, yes, good. Sir. All right. So, so these we are will... various strategies which apply for the iron deficiency anemia. How we should prevent it? So dietary diversification, like okay. we are using various combination of the food. Food fortification, mm -hmm. like if we are salt, we use it. First, we say that we use iodine. Use it. now we say double fortified i okay. like iron okay so not mm. only iron but food fortification mm hmm iodine plus iron yes sir okay yes, sir good. nin of the hyderabad has developed that salt yes sir oh good so i pay supplementation with yeah yes sir then the mm -hmm. i pay supplementation with binal deworming which i mentioned earlier Mm -hmm. and sir health education is been very much needed uh, as i said there is lot of gap we there are things available uh, sargawa ki falli everything is available dates are available the jaggery is also available jaggery is also a source of iron but there is a gap ki baba isme iron hai that we have to take and care of a, 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 yeah a lot of culturally they don't consume certain thing that is also yes, okay yes. so you have cultural folic... barrier is there folic acid deficiency ki wajah se bhi iron deficiency uh, this anemia happens so it is needed for dna synthesis 
so sources as liver soybean dark leafy vegetables uh, causes a stick vegetarian jo bilkul bhi non veg nahi khate hain unko zyada problem hoti hai so stick vegetarian type form anemia uh, pregnancy chronic diarrhea malabsorption have this problem cooking destroys folic acid so jo uh, बोलते ना ब्लैंच करो सो जब स्पिनाच भी कुक करते हैं ना बस फाइव मिनट्स आर मोर देन इनफ टू कुक स्पिनाच व्हाट वी डू वी जस्ट कीप ऑन बॉइलिंग ऑल द ग्रीन लिफी वेजिटेबल इट शुड नॉट हैव टू सो इट डिस्ट्रॉय द न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल द थिंग्स देन ट्रीटमेंट इज विथ फेनेटाइन एंटीमेलाइट्स फॉर लाइक एसिड टू बी गिवन टू टू फाइव मिलीग्राम पर डे सो प्रेगनेंसी में फाइव हंड्रेड microgram per day should be given this is my last slide vitamin b12 deficiency necessary again for dna synthesis and sources are foods of animal origin only so you can imagine this is the problem for vegetarians and that's why nowadays doctors advise this vitamin b12 level you should get it done because vegetarians have this problem so how to overcome it hai na to apne daily uh, uh you can say the drug intake we should have this daily vitamin also properly the calcium calcium iron and this uh vitamin uh, you should have in your intake so very, this is it have because of yeah that's it so megaloblastic anemia paresthesia so the fingers like numbness of the fingers and the toes is there because of this deficiency so 1 microgram per day is the requirement oh wow <laughs> that's so good oh that's so it. wonderful so dr jc thank you very much for you, sharing uh, all those thing and uh, we will definitely have those uh, uh, so we can definitely go back to of your okay good yes sir uh, any questions from student side yeah, yeah. you will hear from them let them come and they will come on the screen soon yes and we will bring all of them in our gallery wow okay. this is a good 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 uh, information very simple a mm -hmm. uh, lot of us know actually uh, here they are been taught uh, in a western world most of the food are fortified so they basically yes. don't even know that they have but uh, definitely mm -hmm. lot of cultural habits are really playing a very important role you will be surprised that how many mm -hmm. in the villages uh, people go bare feet people are in the water standing in the water during the winter so during the harv uh, what you call planting season yeah and all of these yeah. thing them yeah. exposed to a worms which can enter into your body uh even through your skin but there is also lot of yes. food I mean, they don't wash it properly and uh actually even their what we call regular hygiene is not there because of lack of adequate water uh, or hand yes. washing technique all of them makes them to have certain thing it is basically goes what they call oral fecal route they call yeah. it oral fecal route where mm -hmm. these things are constantly happening 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 I so see. that's one part the second part which is very interestingly brought as he brought it how we cook the food some of the time overcooking destroys some of the nutrients all these nutrients are very sensitive to temperature so it's very important that when you take leafy vegetables and everything some of them you should be consuming them you should wash it properly but should consume it in a raw form and not everything should be cooked in a boiling water too long uh, yes. so that is also very very important a uh, third thing she brought this anemia which is all over worldwide uh but uh, actually southeast asia uh has been uh considered to be much more uh, related to anemia lot of challenges which we are seeing so this nutritional garden what we have asked the people to do uh as we talked about earlier we talked about education we talked about personal hygiene 
And this is the third part of which is called nutrition, which we are touching today. And it is very fundamental that government is doing their job. Our job, as uh, Dr. Jaisri has said to us, that uh, that is where the connection link. Government can do it, but ultimately the message has to reach to the last house in the village. And that, that is where our Arogya Sevikas have to play a role. Uh, why it is volunteer? Why we are not a government organization? Now, one of the advantage of us that we are actually connecting them culturally. Whenever government comes, government is to me, is too dry. I mean, everything is by paper and law and uh, rules and regs. Uh, when we want to approach the villagers, uh, Adis talked about, uh, Abhi talked about it, that how when we show them, other person will copy it. We also have to be very helpful. We have to make sure that a lot of things like a seeds are on time. If they are not on time, then they will not grow. Just like all of us, we know if we want to grow flowers in our America, we have to plant at appropriate time. Otherwise, we will not have. So I uh, she brought uh, three different parts. One of them is iron deficiency. Another is folic acid deficiency. And third is B12. All of them are definitely common in vegetarian people. But there is enough sources available in vegetarian uh, if they are consumed in adequate amount. Uh, as you all seen here, uh, even in this country or India, some areas have a staple food. They use same item they eat day in and day out. So they do not have the variety. And I can remember myself uh, when I grew up in a small town, uh, vegetables were not there on the table even once a week. Uh, even in this country, United States of America, before 70s, because meat consumption was all the time, uh, mm. you will not find rice on a plate. You have to go to Asian mm. grocery store to buy the rice. Now it's available freely. Uh, same thing with uh, what we call salad. Right now we all buy salad in the store or we can make salad. It was a luxury item in America. People did not eat salad most of the time. Uh, they basically had either a, um, um, always a meat plate every day. So that was <clears throat> milk, very important part that milk has some limitation and uh, Ayurvedic uh, has very clear idea what things should be mixed, what you should not mix, what you should eat at daytime, what you should at nighttime. Uh, one of the important part which you will all re not realize, she has mentioned about it, that a lot of time there is a blood loss, which is not visible to all of us. We lose blood sometime for various reasons. <clears throat> so one is a hookworm, but some of the time constipation, sometime any other problems in your system. Yes, women, because of their menstrual cycle during the childbearing age, from age maybe 12, 13, 14 onwards, all the way up to they gone in menopause, they do lose blood. And some of them lose more than others. So anemia is very, very significant problem. To tackle it, government does helping out. Uh, problem is prevalent and it was much more prevalent. Uh, three things he brought, that severe anemia was very common at one time, but I'm sure there are severe anima cases uh, like the one she has shown here with uh, the nails deformity and what you see. Uh, that things are very few and rare, but they are there. So always, uh, we always come. There are other causes of anemia. Uh, some of them are because of uh, uh, their genetic part, what called sickle cell anemia is there. 
thalassemia is there. Some of the anemias are basically in America because of the uh, uh, cancer. Cancer makes them to lose blood, colon cancer. Sometimes they have stomach ulcers and they lose blood from them. So there are a lot of causes and uh, our uh, doctor surgeon, they always are ready to help us out when there is emergency blood loss. Uh, but uh, we will let talk for next 15 minutes. Uh, uh, anybody else wants to say? Uh, I think so. We want to hear from the student uh, regarding this whole nutrition and anemia. That is our topic today. So, Les Manali, you want to have a question? We left you out last time. <laughs> um, no, I, I had the question. So. Okay, Vanya, you uh, want to yeah. say anything? Oh, go ahead, Mira. Mina, um, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, first of all, it was like a really good informative lecture. There was, uh, there was a lot of things covered, and I think it was really nice. Um, secondly, the thing I wanted to ask is most of Gujarat is like predominantly vegetarian, right? So is um, the like dal and pulses, are that, is that enough for the protein requirement? And like what's being done about it? What should be done? That sort of thing. Okay, I think so. We Gujaratis definitely have less iron. Uh, most of the vegetarian take less iron, but less protein too. Protein also. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. JC mentioned about the four component protein uh, uh, actually uh, now since it has been promoted uh, we always have available protein add on protein you can add the protein in everything uh, just like I have a oatmeal now you can buy they will call peanut butter where they can take out the oil out of it so it's a concentrated peanut butter yes. which will have a uh, almost double the amount of protein. So mm -hmm. for every uh, 25 grams of peanut butter, we will have nine grams of protein. So uh, mm -hmm. that is available very, very much. So uh, uh, that is one good source of consuming. Uh, then other places, now I'm sure that there is called plant-based protein is available in plenty of it. Anybody wants to add yes, to sir. her question uh, uh, to Mina? If there are Gujaratis here who wants to tell us. Uh, sir, I would like to one thing. Go ahead. Uh, that, hello. Go ahead. Sir, I would like to add one thing. The daily requirement of protein is one gram per kg approximately. Yes. So whatever your weight is, that much you will require. Like 50 kg you are, 50 gram protein you will require. Okay. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, usually uh, between daily, 50 and 70. Having... Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. So 50 so daily, to 70 uh, grams. If you are pure, yeah, if you are pure vegetarian, you can have sprouts, right, uh, of the pulses, like uh, the moat you say, or the green uh, pulse you say, or the soya chunks you that are easily available. You can have combination. It is called the complementary food, right? So yes. when you combine two things like rice and dal, so that would be beneficial. And if you are eating egg, one egg per day you can have, and you totally you are vegetarian, pure vegetarian. So paneer you can have the milk protein, which is again rich in the protein. So don't go for the uh, market products all the time. Uh, that If you're going also, then you should see that it should be plant-based. The soy protein is said to be very uh, good and even I would suggest when you have the rotis at your home, uh, can you uh, have a grind? Uh, yes. The chakki is available uh, over there. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's <laughs> so uh, everything it is available. Is available. Uh, people have the okay. they grind their home. Uh, uh, one of the important okay, part okay. in America is soya bean uh -huh. is very plentiful. Soya bean here Yes, sir. He is uh, yes, sir. Uh, easily available. So that is a good point, mm -hmm. a very good point. Yes. Ah, okay. So wheat ah. with the soya, we can have a floor of that at home only. Like 8 kg uh, wheat is there. You can have, mm -hmm. add a 1 kg of soya, 1 kg of uh, chana dal, you can add in to it. So it will be like uh, roti ke saath, you can have the protein daily. It's going okay. in your body. I think so. Uh, most people now in America use called multigrain. 
yeah, uh, lot of items are multi grain. Uh, so, what you, Pranay, you want to say anything about multi grain? Yeah, um, <laughs> I think I had a different question. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this first. Um, I was looking, I'm actually a, a bit confused about multi grain myself. Um, I don't know, like, I've heard some say that it's like, it sometimes is better to like have the more refined version of a grain, like white rice versus brown rice. But what is like the better aspect of having more grains? Because it lead to like, is it just purely more vitamins and fiber? Or is there other protein based things that could be helpful? Okay, so when we talk about grain, uh, naturally, naturally grain has everything in it. If you see the grain itself, but we do not consume the grain in natural form. Uh, when you look in the countryside, a uh, lot of this rice, which you see, naturally they are not white. They are not really white, if you look at it. And many of them uh, are not this much polished. So when a grain is in its natural form, it has enough fibers and enough nutrients in it. Once you process it, uh, some of the part is taken out, uh, some protein and some fibers and some nutrients are definitely reduced uh, in that grain. So uh, if you look at product on the shelf, they basically try to make it different way. And uh, they will basically say that these are fully processed or partially processed and they will definitely show the different content of nutrients, including fibers in all those. Now, as far as using multi-grain and different items, uh, definitely people are selling all kinds of things, uh, especially on the market, uh, because uh, people uh, want to make items in different flavors. So they basically add, uh, actually, if you ask me, uh, now people are making even chapati multigrain uh, or you can whole wheat instead of simply uh, atta, they call it atta, which is a processed flour, but there's a whole uh, grain or uh, uh, items come around. Uh, but many of them are in United States are fortified. Somehow uh, all the way from milk and every orange juice and everything, they fortified with vitamin A or vitamin D and some other water soluble vitamins are added. It's amazing that how much is added and uh, that's the way uh, in America everything is sold. Uh, but it's a good question Pranay, that uh, uh, many items are coming because new cultures are added. Uh, now you can see in United States uh, in last 50 years, a uh, lot of food. Previously, either you get American, Italian, or maybe Chinese, but now you have Thai food, you have Mexican food, you have Indian food, and all of this food adds a lot of different mixed varieties. Uh, anybody wants to add to it? Uh, go ahead. Uh, we are allowed to speak. Uh, yeah, um, I've tried making like multi-grain food before, like with dosa or chapati. Um, we usually use like quinoa flour or like bright brown rice flour or um, oat flour that we can like make at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today we told about everybody is a good cook here. So what about... <laughs> <laughs> Devki talked COVID about it. COVID has thing. taught us very things, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Very, COVID has very... taught us. <laughs> oh, yes. But here, a uh, lot of our uh, boys and girls have decided to enter in the kitchen. Uh, yes, they should, actually. Oh, good, For good, the balance good. that they should enter the kitchens. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, have, they are helping out uh, their parents or brother or sister. Uh, any Priyanka, you want to say anything? Yes. Yeah, I think my one takeaway is I was really glad to see that the community gardens and the plants that are being planted in a lot of these gardens are taking into account what are a lot of these ailments that um, individuals in the community are experiencing, like anemia that Dr. Jayashree shared, and really providing kind of a non-medicinal way for them to treat anemia. Because we were talking yesterday 
about it's one thing to give individuals access to medicine it's another thing to like give them a way to just treat it within their own communities so I was glad to see that these gardens were a way to do that yeah so the gardens is one uh, educating them of good healthy what we call habits so they do not do what we call open defecation wash your hands and things so it's a multi aspect we have to approach and that is good uh, so one thing i missed in my lecture uh, sir uh, iron uh, kadais are there iron utensils that was uh, should be used uh, uh, yeah uh, iron utensils are used here but mm -hmm. uh, with uh, mm -hmm. all different way of cooking here uh, mm -hmm. we have so many new things have come what we call insta pot anybody wants okay. to tell about what the insta pot is nikita have you heard okay. about insta pot <laughs> yeah my parents like to use it i'm literally sitting next to one it's basically like a it's it has like all these functions like a pressure cooker i mean i like it because you don't have to use oil and it's healthier so uh, you can cook very fast. It is uh, all different sizes available. And um, uh, some of, I would say semi-automatic. So it will, is all pre-programmed. So you don't have to think about it. So that's a good part about uh, cooking here. Uh, there are enough, uh, what we call gadgets in the kitchen now, all, all the way from uh, 24 hours hot water available uh anybody else want to add divya what is your take on it uh american food <laughs> well i know a few years ago i had like really bad uh i was really anemic so and they checked my blood and everything so they gave me like the liquid form of iron but it was so bad i couldn't even take it it just was like straight iron it was terrible but what i've <laughs> um started to into my diet, I've been making a lot of smoothies and adding spinach into it and then adding chia seeds and like hemp seeds and lots of naturals, just like fiber rich um, things into my smoothie along with fruit. So it's just easier to drink it. So I'm thinking like maybe in like the village side, like smoothies would be a nice thing to try, but also I had a question. Um, so like when I was anemic, I was also like very like depressed, I feel like, because um, as Dr. Butte said, when you have, when you're more anemic, you're like mental health and you're physically like not as active. So like, how is that worked out in the rural areas of India? Like, do they talk about mental illnesses and with an anemia and stuff like that? Uh, a good question. Uh... Uh, as far as uh, in India, uh, the mental illness and mental illness treatment, uh, we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. Uh, that is why uh, it is not something. Uh, most of the time, there is uh, some called taboo. Just like even in the United States, it was taboo to talk about certain mental illness until uh, mid-70s, it started opening up. India still will have a long way to go to mentally open up and talk about uh, certain things, including depression, anxiety, or all other disorders. Yes, other, uh, yeah. other question you have is uh, uh, in uh, villages, uh, they basically have a very, very, what we call uh, tight social fabric. The social fabric plays a very important role. And uh, certain things uh, you will not able to even step out of that unless you are brave enough to uh, take the consequences of it. Uh, so it's a tough job. It's very tough. Uh, uh, just like in this country, in America, it was very tough to tell openly what kind of sexual preference you have. Uh, which was people did not talk about it until uh, late 90s. Uh, even military people are not allowed to talk about it. So uh, it takes time. It definitely takes time. Uh, very good question. Uh, but most important thing in uh, ECAL is doing 
is educating assisting and encouraging them to have a healthy habits whether it is hygiene uh, whether they are consuming the food uh, they are even personal hygiene and especially in the women's nowadays uh, they are educating about what is menses and what is important of sanitary napkins and also seek a treatment of anemia uh, anemia was not treated until it was too late and some of the complication was irreversible but if you treat as dr jaisri has told that if you have a mild anemia you can treat very easily uh, iron has its own challenges the when you consume the iron in this leafy vegetables and other thing uh, they are not going to bother your stomach but as you devika uh, divya you said when you get the iron in the tablet form or the liquid form it's yucky it's a constipating uh, it is not mm-hmm. fun to have it so uh, 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 most of us do not uh, take the iron that form unless doctor prescribes it in india people will take it over the counter in here most people will not take until uh, they are prescribed by physician uh parenteral iron she talked about giving iv iron uh or iam injections uh they are given here but uh, we do not jump into very easily very expensive to you give the iv iron a uh, blood transfusion as we know now uh, they are very selective very careful uh a doctor uh, uh nishant talked about uh they definitely harvest the blood during the operation or during the pregnancy and delivery and they read or transfuse their own blood some of them because religious people do not take transfusion uh we don't have much problem in india as much but like here uh that's a whole different situation uh i think so we have a uh uh doctor uh, uh but left already uh, from us uh looks like uh, he left us okay and uh, dr bomik ji do you want to say anything a uh, few last words um bomik ji sun rahe uh, bol rahe i would like to say this thing uh, dr bude very good uh, information in uh, this uh, gagar mein sagar jaisa kaam kiya hai ki bahut hi acha unne uh, sanchipt mein jaisa banaya hai so for the tomorrow again uh, we are having uh, this uh, skin and uh, uh, this uh, scabies and skin uh, diseases wow. so for that also uh, dr rashmi i think uh, uh, yes, presenting yes. this thing tomorrow uh, from the yes. same college jaidas uh, uh, medical college dohot and uh, yes. tomorrow again we will have a very good information regarding the skin uh, ailments okay so, and, uh, and uh, dr bharat dr bharat want to speak anything he has not spoken anything uh, you can speak in gujarati bharat bhai bharat bhai aao aao ah apna darshan aapo nahi nahi okay uh, doctor hamare upadhyay ji bolenge aap upadhyay ji bolenge okay badane namaskar okay jo bhi chalu karo to pehle dekha hai okay dr bharat will be speaking to us शंकर भाई बदगिरी खूब सारी वी हेव अ वेरी गुड को पीपल ऑन द ग्राउंड शंकर भाई ऑन द ग्राउंड and dr uh, bharat bhai also visited uh, he ah. has his own small farm house so yes, he uh, so bharat uh, shankar bhai gave us a small tour uh, ah. and uh, and uh, bhoomik bhai is our uh, flexi person he controls everybody bhoomik bhai last word <laughs> there is there is one question regarding protein content of gujarati milk our uh, gujarati dish uh, always uh, have a dal this is of dal so uh, in, uh, different cereals in our gujarati dish is the source of protein 
is always there. So we we call it khichdi. <laughs> I think it's a very common in in uh, in. Uh, in daily routine also we consume dal and bhat yeah so rice, dal rice is a, to, uh, rice yeah. with cereal rice with. yeah so that is very very true okay uh, anybody has any question today uh, manali did not speak mukta has not spoken much anything you want to add uh, any of them or we will definitely kind of go off uh, now it's only time so all of them uh, here it's uh, almost midnight in new york and uh, yeah. so it will be a morning there so everybody have a good night or good morning or good afternoon depends on which time permit you have go ahead pranav you want to say good 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 bye. yeah bye thank you very much and we will see you again tomorrow Kalyan is a mantra. christmas yeah Asman tomorrow asman bhai kalyan uh, mantra kalyan mantra om शंकर भाई कल्याण मंत्र कराओ शंकर भाई कल्याण मंत्र बोलव हाँ बोलो कल्याण मंत्री पश्यू जय श्री राम ओके थैंक यू